Hi, Coach Mac here. This month we're working on walkovers, and this week I'm looking at the entry for back walkovers. Athletes should start with arms by ears, head in line with straight spine, with all weight on one straight leg and the free leg forward and tight. As they start to bend back, the head should stay in line. The hands should lead the descent with the shoulder angle remaining open, and the free leg should lift simultaneously with the support leg remaining strong with minimal bend just before contact. One common error athletes make is arching back with arms by their sides because it keeps their body weight more over their feet for easier balance. Another problem I see is letting their shoulders lead the arch instead of their hands and eyes. It makes them feel more comfortable because they can delay that split second when they lose sight of where they started but can't quite see the floor yet. Unfortunately, these two errors make it more difficult to get the arms and shoulders in the correct position for a strong bridge. To keep the shoulder angle open, I like to tell my athletes to peel like a banana, starting from the tip tops of their fingers and following with their eyes. To keep them from sinking in their spine and support leg as they descend, I give them the image of the water fountain, spurting upward before arcing down to encourage them to stay tall. One other common error I see is putting weight on the front foot during the back bend. In order to achieve a smooth motion through the skill, the free leg should lift at the same time the athlete begins to arch back in a reverse lever motion. Putting weight on the front foot makes them feel more secure, but delays the ability to shift the weight to the hands in the kickover phase. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the gym.